going to sit down and talk a while. Um, you know, as I grew up, I, uh, I idolized you, especially when I was fighting, I really idolized you. Um, and I actually had a little incident with you. You know, when we actually trained at the same gym for a fight once. Um, in 1977, you were training at Gleason's Gym in New York, and uh, you were training for Kenny Norton at Yankee Stadium. Mm. That was me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You were training for Kenny Norton at Yankee Stadium, and I was training for a guy named Billy Perez at Prospect Hall in Brooklyn. Uh, little different venue. Um, anyway, the, the first day that we were there together, I couldn't wait to see you. So uh, I was in the ring warming up, you know, and I, I was waiting for you to come down, and the place was jammed. It was like the Ali Road Show, of course. And uh, finally, you appeared. You started coming down the stairs, and for a second, I thought you looked right at me. You know, and then. Then I said, nah, it can't be, you can't be looking at me. And I went back to warming up and you weren't looking at me. You came right over to me. You came right down over to me, got me in a headlock, started giving me noogies and told me to go back to school, white boy, because this game wasn't for me. <laughs> it was me. Then, a year later, a year later, I'm doing taxi. And I met this guy and he said to me, you wanted, you wanted to see me. So I took a shot and went with him. He sent me to the door, I rang the bell, and you answered the door. And immediately, we started slap fighting. You know, I was like, you. yeah, that was me, too. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, and I hung out with you for the rest of the day. And that day, you had just gotten a new Corniche, uh, convertible Rolls Royce. And that was the first time I'd ever seen a car phone. You know what I mean? I never saw a car phone before. He had one in the car. So I asked him, could I use the phone? Because I wanted to call somebody and tell them who I was with. So you said, go ahead, use the phone. So I called Danny DeVito. So I said, Danny, you won't believe this. I'm with Muhammad Ali. Click, he hung up on me. <laughs> so I had you call him back. You called him back. You said, Danny, this is Muhammad Ali. He hung up on you, too. I, uh... <laughs> Those are my two stories. I, I think it's time for me to show a, a clip there, champ. Excuse me a second. This here is a speed bag. And um, every fighter who ever trained, you know, entered the ring, I mean, trained on one of these. And uh, some of us, some fighters could do it real well. And, and others, like the first heavyweight champion of the world, John L. Sullivan, could hardly do it at all. The first heavyweight champion, John L. Sullivan, was a turn-of-the-century legend, but not on the bag. Jack Johnson, one of the all-time greats of the division, had more style than John L., as you can see. Now, Jack Dempsey, mm, looks good, who to spend seven years in terror, practiced timing on the speed bag. Joe Lewis, who took out 25 opponents in title fights, first had a master this skill. Even The Rock, Rocky Marciano, a fighter known more for brute strength and grace, did his workouts with the bag. But it took many generations for boxing to produce the most exciting, most unpredictable, by far the most innovative, and unquestionably the fastest world heavyweight champion in all the history of boxing. He is the magnificent Muhammad Ali. Oh, oh did you see that? Ali was brilliant, of course, on the speed bag, you know? <laughs> Not like the rest of those guys, huh? Anyway, um... Uh, since I'm here to give you a little demonstration of the different apparatus, uh, apparati? Anyway, now let's see if I can still do this. Good job. Yeah, it's, um, that's the first sound you hear when you walk into a gym. The sound of the speed bag, you know. And I mean, each fighter has his own way of doing it. And it's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like dancing, isn't it? Let's see. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And next, next we have the jump rope. A jump rope, I mean, you've heard of aerobics? Well, this is aerobic. Now, some guys, of course, can cross it. Huh? Pretty good. Some guys can make it go twice. And some guys can even make it go three times. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He's a show off this guy. Yeah. Me? Oh, I don't know. Really, you think so? All right, I'll see this. Uh, let's see. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, not bad. <laughs> oh! There you go. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> and last but not least, we get the heavy bag. Now, the heavy bag is... Uh... Ronnie, do me a favor, hang on to that for me. Heavy bag is a little different. I mean, I spent hours on this. It builds power, builds strength. And uh, it also has its own rhythm. Sort of like dancing. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ah. Did I hurt you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So those are the sounds that you hear when you're in the gym, and, uh, and those are the things we use in the gym. Because Ali, he added to those sounds. 
he turned it into sort of a ballet. Now, we couldn't do it like him, but we, uh, you know, we practiced drill hard, and we tried, and we would drill and drill our combinations. Left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, right, body, head, 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 chin, body, head, 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 chin, shoe shine, boom, dig, dig, Pretty good. Thanks, man. Well, yeah, apparently, you've done this before. Well, not as much. A little bit. I'm 40 now, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, champ. Remember you told Tony to retire? Just a week later, tough Tony took on Felix Perez. I think his name is Billy. Check it out. This is the main event. Well, there is tough Tony Danza in the white trunks with a black stripe. He's quite a local favorite. So let's watch this one. Let's see what the, how these boys feel each other out. What are they trying to find out about each other, Harold? Well, the first thing that they try to find out, the opening round is usually the feel out round, where they feel each other, they feel each other out. But evidently, uh, Tony Danza doesn't feel like feeling anybody out. Tony Danza is all ready to start throwing bombs, which he's doing right now. 44 seconds of the first round. Tony Danza back his man up. Tony Danza is a murderous, murderous puncher. Champ, many, many happy returns. I love you so much. Happy birthday, Champ. Bye. 